Hold on a minute. What happened again? This is how it all started. was trying to find the Mavic in this heavily wooded mountain. It's Ricky Melendez. So, um, I was flying to doing a, like a two kilometer uh, trip uh, with the Mavic and um, I, did, uh, I did two kilometers there. And on the way back, I decided to fly backwards like I, a lot of the times I do. And I guess I must have lowered the height too much and I clipped something and I crashed my Mavic it's gonna be gone I got about 24% left on the battery and I'm gonna be Mavic less unless I find it I do not know what the fuck I hit because I was going backwards all I saw was like all of a sudden the Mavic went upside down I didn't have visual contact with it yet and uh, I do not know where it is I am looking for it right now come on see so the home point it's supposed to be where the Mavic is because that's uh, I hit uh, I hit you know the aircraft since I'm not connected right now it's not letting me um but that's what I did. I set the home point at the, where the aircraft laid. So, I'm so bummed out. And I've had some, yeah, that's the thing with, um, after you've been flying for a while, you kind of start getting comfortable and taking more chances. I mean, I would have never done that, uh, you know, flying two kilometers backwards, you know? And then I uh, lowered the, the aircraft to, let, you know, I was at a at 100 meters. And then um, I was trying to like lower it and uh, so I went down to uh, like 60 meters looking for it and I couldn't find it and uh, and then it hit something and uh, now I don't even know where it, where it is but I know it's not this way so and I can see the where the Mavic lays and everything because we got a uh, I had a picture of it. It's, it's, it's some bushes. Oh man, my wife's gonna kill me, man. That's like, you know, uh, I crashed my Phantom 4 Pro uh, last month, and um, and I'm probably gonna lose. I mean, I'm 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 not too hopeful that I will find it <laughs> because it's just everything's so populated here and. Um, I've looked already for so long and I can't find nothing, you know? I'm thinking, about, I got my Inspire with me and thinking about like sending it to Scout, but uh, man, that would be kind of crazy if something happened to my Inspire too. And I'll be out of fucking aircrafts. <laughs> so, anyways, um, if I find something, I'll, I'll turn the camera back on. All right. So, um, this is where I'm at. This is where the Mavic is somewhere. I mean, you don't understand how hard it was to get up here. It's very densely uh, wooded area. And uh, I might have overshot where the Mavic was because I didn't magnify on the map. So I kind of thought I was close, but as a matter of fact, I was going offline because I didn't magnify the map. But uh, I think I'm going in the right direction now. I got about 9% battery left on my phone. So hopefully I can find it. I found it. 
I found the fucking Mavic! Yes! <laughs> I can't fucking believe it! And it's fine! So anyways, uh, here's the DJ Mavic, all that happened from, you know, it, it fell a good uh, like 25 feet where it hit some branches and then it rolled off and then it landed on the, some bushes on the ground. That's why really nothing happened to it. Uh, the, you got scratches right there and uh, that was about it. It's still worse. I, I tested it outside and uh, I can't believe I found it. That was crazy. I mean, it took a lot of work. I mean, so many times I was about to give up, but I was already so committed into the mountain. You know, I already had gone in so far in. As you can see in the photos, it, it was um, <clears throat> it was quite steep. You know, to go up, and uh, and then there was a fence because it's a telecommunications tower at the top. So there was a security fence. And the Mavic had landed inside the security fence, uh, but then uh, some bam bamboos had fallen down and had torn a hole in the security fence. So I was able to go into the telecommunications tower area, and uh, and that's where I was able to find it. You know, get really, really close to the to the GPS mark. And uh, basically, when I was like right on it, I was like looking under uh, the, the these like really low bushes, and I was able to find Mavic. Um, uh, I know I'm gonna get a lot of hell for this, uh, for being careless. Uh, I mean, I, a lot of people already write to me, you know, whenever I put my videos up, you know, or whenever you make a mistake, and you know, you share them with the world. You know, a lot of people forget, you know, that I share my mistakes with the world, and you know. You know, whoever writes to me all this stuff, you know, you're not perfect, you know, and you know, everybody that's part of this drone police, you know, like, they never fly out of sight and, 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 and things like that, and you know, come on, you know, don't judge me, and, uh, and everything, and you know, yeah, it's just, uh, I was being careless, I will admit that, I was being careless, and, uh, I will share my experience with you, and, um, just learn from it, you know. Uh, as you can see, it was a real simple mistake of me answering the phone. Uh, I was flying backwards towards myself, uh, changing the course slightly, therefore losing uh, line of sight. And uh, the aircraft flew by me, and uh, there was such a tall mountain behind me that was, uh, you know, way taller. I mean, way uh, you know, the, its altitude was way higher than what, what my aircraft was flying at and uh, and I crashed right into a mountain. So um, anyway, so, uh, thanks for watching the vlog and uh, I, I will see you, I will see you, you know, we'll make some more DJ Mavic videos and, and, and things like that. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching.